there are lots of different ways to display data within your BuddyBase application. Let's look at a few of them. I'll create a new blank screen that we're going to work with. We'll just call it data. I can decide which access rule I want to allow access to this. This is going to be for anyone logged in, so I'll leave it a basic and I'll press done. And then for the blank screen, I can head up to here and add to my navigation. I could add so data and forward slash data. And again, even here, we can set the minimum rule. Let's save that. And now it's going to appear up there. So I preview my application. Press not data link is going to bring me to the blank page that we've just been designing. Clicking into components, I'm going to set up some different ways to be able to look at data. To be able to access that data, I'm going to add a component. Specifically, I'm going to add the data provider, which is going to allow everything nested within it to be able to access data from our tables or from any data that we've set up in the tab. I'm going to call this my appointment provider. And I'll choose from my drop down my appointments table. Now I can sort my appointments by date. I can sort them ascending or descending. I can decide whether or not I want to limit them or how much. And I can decide whether or not I want to paginate. So having um, pagination with maybe five appointments showing per table. Within here, I can add a table. Let me do that. Add. So now, just by dropping that in, I've got the data from my database. I can arrow through the table just to show some of the other things that are going on here. I can configure my table to be bigger, reduce the spacing. I can show those auto columns like ID that have been created. I'm able to link each of these table rows to another part of my application. And instead of linking to a separate page, I could open in a Moodle. Inside of my table component, I also have the ability to configure columns. Now I can add a column and just have the reason say, and that would update my table just to show the reason. I could add all the columns and then rearrange them um, or remove one I didn't want. Or I could add all the columns and I could rename them. So reason for appointment. So the label on my table can be different from the label in my database. It allows me to change using the settings cog. I can change some colors and alignments and basically make my table my own and change it in any way that might be um, helpful. For me. So a table is one way to be able to display data move through I can have a look at other things. The other ways though, let's get rid of our table for now. And then let's instead add a repeater. A repeater will loop over the data that's being provided by the data provider and replicate what's inside it for each item that matches. So let's have a look. In my repeater, I'm going to add a card. And I'm have five cards on this page, because I've set it to a maximum of five, I can arrow through. And card title is currently the static value. So I click into card title, I'm going to press the lightning here to get into the bindings. So I'll set the title for the reason. So I'll do down to the reason. And maybe I'll set a subtitle to be the date. Okay, so I've got those dates, got those things going on, I can arrow through. It's another way that I can display my data. Inside these cards, I could add a link out externally. I could change the padding and the sizes, and I can set an action, which will allow something to happen when I click on one of these cards. What if I want to display some relational data? Let's get rid of this. And let's add a component for data provider, which is going to be for my owners. I've got some pets with some owners associated with them. I want the owners to be at this top level. Okay, so this, anything in here will show me my owner. If I drop in my table component, it's going to show me I've got a couple of owners here going on. So it shows me I've got Kevin in Northern Ireland, who's got Grace, John in Kansas doesn't have any pets, and these other users don't have any pets at all. Okay, if I go to my data tab, I can update, add another pet. So I can create a row, maybe a row that for a pet that's run then. It's called um, Coco, maybe. Dog is a Springer. And then I can choose the owner. So let's set one of those as the owner. So back in my design tab, I now have Coco being associated here. Now what I really like is just a card that says um, Coco is a dog and is owned by, okay, or Coco or Grace is a elephant and is owned by the name. So to do that, I need some data from the owner's table and some data from the pet's table. I need to relate those two together. So I have my owners. And I want to repeat over, so let's get rid of the table for now. 
I'm going to repeat over my owners. Now, I actually only want to do this for when my owners have a pet. So I'll define a filter and add a filter expression and say when the, when the foreign key for pets is not empty. Okay, so that means I'm expecting two things to be in here. And just to confirm that that's what's here, let's add a card. Two cards should appear, one, two. Let's add a title and then let's put the owner's name. New repeater's owner's name. Okay, so we've got this brilliant Kevin, or yet another owns. And then how do we get the pet name? So new owners dot pets. Well, that gives me this whole object thing here. Okay, and because it's an array, I actually need another repeater to be able to access that data. So let's add another repeater. So at the level of this new repeater, I'm going. To, this is the owner repeater, just so we don't get confused. Owner repeater. At that level, I want to add another repeater, which is going to be the pet repeater. What I actually want to loop over is the relationship between the owners and the pets. So to do that, I need to add another data provider in the middle. Okay, so we're getting closer. Now this provider is going to be the relationship between the owners and the pets. And this card is going to be inside this repeater now. Okay, we're getting slightly closer. So let's have a look. Kevin's appearing twice. That's not what we want. We want the provider here to be our new data provider. Brilliant. And now in here, in my card, I can say, look, Kevin owns, he owns a new data, owns a animal called name. So actually the card's struggling with the width. So we can do something about that. We can set the width to be maybe 100% of the container. We have some slightly better. So Kevin owns a dog called Grace and yet another owns a dog called Coco. So let's just step through that. We have an owner's data provider, which is being filtered to make sure that the FK pets is blank. And that way we can make sure we're only listing owners that actually have pets. We're repeating every one of those. We're saying all of the owners have pets, do the same action for. Within that, we're then now going to look up, get more data, based on the relationship of owners to pets. So owner repeater, owners to pets. So based on that relationship. And we're repeating over each of those. We need a repeater, even though even if there's only one match, because it will always be returned as an array. So in our card then, we can use our bindings to reach out to the owner itself from the owner repeater, and then to the relevant pet in the pet repeater. This is a one-to-one -one relationship, so there's only ever going to be one owner and one pet, but we could change it to a many-to-one if we had multiple pets being owned by a single owner. There's a last way that we could enhance this application slightly and add some user data. So we go to the top and we add a component, just maybe a headline component. We go right to the top there. And what I want to say here is I want to say hello to the current logged in user. I'm going to go hello. And if I scroll down current user dot first name. Now this says hello, Kevin. That's my name. But where's it getting that information from? Well, it's getting it from the users table. So if we go back to our admin panel, go to users. And we see here this user test at test.com has a first name filled in as Kevin. If I change that to test and head back to my application, rather than saying, hello, Kevin, it now says, so four ways to access data. We've got data in a table. We've got data with a repeater and a card. We've got nested repeaters and nested providers. And then we've got the ability to reach out and get the current user using the binding.